The reason I love Bombay Bicycle Club, So Long, See You Tomorrow, is because, first of all, after three albums, you kind of almost expect that it might be a disappointment, and this went above and beyond my expectations. It was the anthem, the entire soundtrack to my summer. It was just an album that took me to far away places. It's perfect to listen to if you're on holiday or on a beach with a fire. Not that that ever really happens outside of the OC, but if you can get there, this is an ideal place to listen to this album. It has so many influences from all over the world and you have no idea where you are when you're listening to it. Your letters wait at home In their bright red coat they don't just write about the traditional things that a lot of people within that genre do. You know, it's not all just songs about love, there are songs about growing up and changing. And I feel like there are so many things within the album that you can relate to, that it sort of is one of those cure-alls, you know, for anything you're going through. And there's something really cinematic about the sound. And the messages are sometimes a little bit sad and depressing, but the sound is so energetic and you can really feel it. And so it's almost like a soundtrack. It feels like you're in a film when you're listening to it. I definitely feel like this album represents something bigger in British music, you know, especially because of the way that they embody how incredibly cosmopolitan the UK is, and it's got sounds from all over the world. You've got sounds from Spain or the Middle East, or you've got like Afro beats kind of sneaking in there, even kind of an element of hip hop sometimes. So many sounds all brought together often, all at the same time, just within one song. It really represents how incredibly brave and different and rule-breaking British music is. The reason that I think that they should win the prize is because they are four albums in. The first three were incredibly well-known and very well-received and very critically acclaimed, and yet here they are shortlisted amongst completely fresh new sounds. It shows that they are still delivering that and they are still using sounds that no one else uses, especially not all at the same time. Not one of their songs sound alike and yet they still manage to have this completely distinctive sound and quality. The whole album is so innovative, it's so fresh, and so I think that's what makes it exciting, I think that's what makes it quintessentially British and incredibly cool.